Chicken Digestion The oral cavity is better known as the mouth. It is also known as the beginning of the digestive system. It contains the salivary glands, tongue, and teeth. The salivary glands produce and secrete saliva, which moistens the food, allowing it to go down the esophagus easier. The tongue helps to roll chewed food, in this case chicken, into a mass of chewed food known as a bolus. Both the hard and soft palates help with speech. The hard palate is located on the top of the mouth at the front, dividing the nasal passages. The soft palate is located on the top of the mouth at the back, closing the nasal passages during the process of swallowing. The epiglottis is a lid-like flap of flesh that covers the larynx during the act of swallowing. Peristilic movement is when muscles contract in a wave-like motion. This is used in the esophagus to ease food down to the stomach. No digestion occurs in the esophagus. The main function of the stomach is to break down and digest food in order to extract necessary nutrient from the food you have eaten. Chyme is a thick, semi-fluid mass of partially digested food and secretions formed in the stomach. Digestive juices are formed by the gastric glands, including pepsin, which breaks down proteins, and hydrochloric acid. This fluid is mixed by the stomach churning. The acidic nature of the stomach is the second step in decontaminating food that we eat. Gastric acid is produced by parietal cells. To prevent the stomach from being digested, there is a lining of epithelial cells that secretes a layer of mucus and bicarbonates. A sphincter is an opening. There are two in the stomach, one at the top and one at the bottom. The mechanical digestion in the stomach is a mixing action, while the chemical digestion is the various enzymes like lipase, which breaks down fats, and pepsin, which breaks down protein, mixed with the chyme. There are three sections of the small intestine. The duodenum is the part connected to your stomach. It uses bile from your gallbladder, liver, and pancreas to help digest food. The jejunium is the middle section, and it carries the food rapidly using peristilic movement towards the ileum. It is the last and longest section. The ileum is also the part where most of the nutrients are absorbed. Food travels so rapidly through the small intestine due to the muscular folds, villi, and microvilli. The pH in the small intestine is 8.5. The pH is maintained with the use of secretin. Amylase is an enzyme that acts on starches. Prolase is an enzyme that acts on proteins. Lipase is an enzyme that acts on fats. Maltase, sucrose, and lactate act on sugar. Renin acts on proteins in milk. And gelatinase acts on gelatin and collagen. The large intestine absorbs water and minerals. The cecum takes in digested liquid and passes it to the colon. The colon is the principal place for water absorption. The rectum collects waste. The large intestine reabsorbs most of the water we ingest and gives it back to the body. The pancreas is six inches long and sits behind the stomach at the back of the abdomen. The pancreas helps to maintain blood sugar levels and is related to digestion because it secretes many of the enzymes used in it. Pancreas connects to the duodenum through the pancreatic duct. Pancreas secretes lipase, which breaks down fats, amylase, which breaks down carbohydrates, and trypsin, which breaks down proteins in the gastrointestinal tract. The liver is three pounds and sits to the right in the abdomen. The liver makes bile, which is used in digestion. It also filters blood and helps maintain blood sugar levels. The bile that the liver makes is stored in the gallbladder. 
bile helps break down fats. It enters the duodenum through the common bile duct. Overall, a bite of chicken would go through the oral cavity, esophagus, stomach, small intestine, and large intestine. The digestive system also contains the salivary glands, pancreas, liver, and gallbladder.